Fuddruckers is a franchised hamburger restaurant chain that opened in 1979. Thank you for your suggestion. You won't believe how big it is. We are talking food. Get fresh at Fuddruckers. Look at those buns. Oh. Get fresh at Fuddruckers. Everything's fresh at Fuddruckers. That's why it's the best burger you ever tried to put in your mouth. Wanna do Fuddruckers tonight? What kind of a girl do you think I am? <laughs> Get fresh at Fuddruckers. Fuddruckers was opened by Phil Romano in San Antonio, Texas in 1979. Newly relocated to Texas, it was in San Antonio where he began his dream of cooking up a better hamburger because he wasn't able to find a place to get a great freshly made burger. So in 1979, Romano found an old abandoned bank and converted it into a hamburger restaurant. He called it Freddy Fuddruckers, which was inspired by the fictional airline called Fud Pucker Airlines. The restaurant's concept was to offer big burgers in which the beef was freshly off the grind and the buns were freshly baked inside the premises, served with lots of the only the freshest sliced tomatoes, onions, lettuce, and then dressed with a cheese sauce. It didn't take long for word about their tasty burgers and fresh ingredients to spread. Within three years, there were more than 20 Fuddrucker locations all over the Lone Star State. In 1983, the company went public and used the subsequent cash flow to expand throughout the U.S. during the 1980s and 1990s. The burger chain falls somewhere between a fast food joint and a traditional sit-down restaurant. For one, there's no table service there. Instead, customers order at the counter and wait for their names to be called. Kind of like Five Guys. Fuddruckers lets the customers themselves be the maker of their own burger. After cooking your burger exactly to your liking, Fuddruckers sends hungry diners to the toppings bar to load up on all the veggies, condiments, and cheese sauce that their heart desires. Basically, you can customize the burger of your dreams at Fuddruckers. The chain lets customers choose from either one-third, half-pound, or two-thirds pound burger patties on their everyday menu. Make it a double and you could wind up with over a pound of meat to chow down on. Rest assured that you're going to get a tasty burger on a fresh baked bun and all the topping combinations you can imagine when you go to Fuddruckers, but you're not going to get franchised with that, at least not in the traditional sense. Fuddruckers offers thick-cut potato wedges on their menu, which get you pretty close to thick-cut steak fries, but arguably better. These wedges are crispy on the outside, soft on the inside, and they're even better when dipped in Fuddruckers cheese sauce. The restaurant serves up an unlimited amount of its original signature cheddar cheese sauce at its toppings bar and you should definitely take advantage. It's good on burgers, it's good on potato wedges. Essentially it's like pouring nacho cheese that you'd find at a baseball game's concession stand all over your burger. By 1988, Fuddruckers had 150 branches. But Romano decided to sell Fuddruckers and start a new chain called Romano's Macaroni Grill. This is where the ownership of Fuddruckers began to change hands. Romano sold the chain to an entrepreneur named Michael Cannon, but that wouldn't be last long before Fuddruckers was sold to Austin-based Magic Brands, who also used to own the chicken restaurant chain Cuckoo Roo. In 2006, Fuddruckers made a burger weighing 29.6 pounds and costing $250 for the Fuddruckers restaurant in the casino. The burger was 18 and a half inches wide and 8 inches tall. At the time, this was the world's largest commercially available burger. 
The financial crisis in 2008 led to the closure of many businesses, including Fuddruckers. As a result, Magic Brands filed for bankruptcy protection in 2010 and announced that the 24 Fuddrucker restaurants would be closed. Originally, Magic Brands intended to sell Fuddruckers to Tavistock Group for $40 million, but the latter was outbid by Luby's to the tune of $61 million. Luby also acquired the Kukuru restaurant chain, which they would close in 2010. That same year, it began enforcing a no weapons policy, which insisted that patrons should not carry visible pistols unless they were security officials something that is common in many states, including Texas. Fuddruckers management had been concerned that the presence of armed patrons might deter unarmed ones from visiting, but the move caused controversy among pro-gun advocates who threatened to retaliate with boycotts of the Fuddruckers restaurants. On June 3, 2020, Luby's Board of Directors announced plans to sell all of its operating divisions and assets, including real estate assets. This decision was influenced in part by the circumstances surrounding the COVID-19 pandemic. By September 8, 2020, Luby's further announced it had adopted a plan to liquidate all of its existing assets, as opposed to operating in the current form or merely selling off divisions. At that point, there were 80 Lubies and Fuddruckers still in operation. 99% of Luby's stockholders voted for dissolution in November of 2020. Lubies planned to close all locations by August of 2021. In 2021, Nicholas Perkins paid an estimated $18.5 million for the Fuddruckers franchise, making him the largest franchise owner and the first African-American to own 100% of a national burger chain. Perkins owned the Black Titan Franchise Systems LLC, which had agreed to buy the Fuddruckers brand from Luby's. Today, Fuddruckers has over 100 locations across the United States, as well as several locations abroad, particularly in some parts of Europe, the Middle East, in Latin America. Thank you for watching. If you like this content and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Thanks.